In this video is to support the asset manager task that we're doing in class. Uh, I'm going to do it right from the beginning. Blank folder. Always good to start in a blank folder. New Microsoft Access Database. Always do it this way. If you do it by opening Access and making a new database, typically it doesn't save it in the location you want with the name that you want. So Asset Manager Access Database. Uh, we're just going to have one table to begin with, but then we'll go into a couple more tables after that. So create a new table. What I like to do is go straight into design view because then it asks me to save it and I automatically know then um, that I've saved it under a, a meaningful name. So it's given us a primary key field. You see the little key icon here um, called ID, which is auto number. We most definitely want that. Uh, I like to change the name of the field from just ID to something like asset ID. It's just because when you've got a query that pulls from multiple tables, you end up with a bunch of fields all called ID, and it can be a bit confusing which one is which. So if I call it asset ID, I know what I'm referring to. And I could call it name, uh, this field. Uh, I choose to call it asset name because there's some field names which are not good to use like name date and things like that um, they have internal meanings in access and it causes other problems so asset name short text seems about right um, i'm also going to have asset uh, model perhaps model yep short text again asset manufacturer so HP, Toshiba, whatever, manufacturer, that sounds good. Uh, date purchased is perhaps a field that I want, and so on and so oops, date purchased, and so on and so forth. Now, of course, date purchased should not be short text, so I'm going to change it to uh, date time. And you know, this is not supposed to be an exhaustive list of all the correct fields that we would use. What you're expected to do is to think about what would a user of your database want to store in the database? What's the, the best set of fields for them? And then, you, so you're designing the actual um, table, you're designing the, the set of fields to suit the needs of the user. So I'm just kind of putting a few in just to um, get us going. I'm also going to put in a location uh, field. So make sure I save that. Go to the data sheet view, I haven't got anything in there. But uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put in my laptop right here, which is called PCLT150. And it is a, I don't know, it's a G300, I think. G300, it's an HP, uh, I don't know the date. I'm going to make, I'm going to say it's for yesterday. It most certainly wasn't. Location, now this is a laptop, so this might be a, it's the kind of thinking you have to do. It's like, well, what would people put in there? Uh, I'm just going to say that it's mobile for now. We'll think about that later. So then I can put in a bunch more assets. Now, um, that's all good. But let's just think about uh, this HP field, for instance. Uh, we're going to actually put that in the whole asset manufacturer field, HP field, into a separate table. It's the link table thing is going to make for a bit more flexibility. So like I'm imagining here that for every laptop that is an HP laptop, we might want to have a specific uh, service center that it gets sent to or contact details for that person. Um, it, there might be something else that would be relevant. So we're actually going to, instead of just having HP and we type in HP every single time, and of course, someone might do something stupid like that, you know, and then you end up, we've well, got two different manufacturers when it's actually only really one. I'm going to stick with HP. So we're going to um, have another table. So I'm going to go back to the create menu and then we're going to link to that table. So create another table and this is going to be TBL manufacturers, manufacturers and manufacturer id same as before and name <laughs> they did the wrong thing there didn't i calling it just name when that's not a good 
name manufacturer name is better and uh, perhaps uh, contact details on we could fill that out later um, so I'll save that and then we'll put into it this HP manufacturer contacts mr. HP and then we could also have Toshiba and contact miss Toshiba etc all good so I'm now going to change this table I'm actually going to delete I'll change this asset manufacturer field because I want it to refer to that other table and short text won't do because what I'm going to be referring to is the ID so HP is ID 1 Toshiba is ID 2 so I'm going to be using the 1 and 2 in here so I'm going to go into the design view I'm going to change this from short text to it's actually a long integer a number long integer needs to be the same type and you, if we go into design view here you'll see that manufacturer ID is a long integer so long integer now if I go to data sheet view it'll warn me that I'm going to lose some data which is fair enough because I can't store the word HP in there but I know that Ant asset manufacturer one is HP so now this refers to that manufacturer and we're going to do some lookups and things like that in good time but I just want to quickly throw in the relationship here as well so I'm going to go to my database tools relationships window add in the two tables that I've got and the link is that the manufacturer ID links to the asset manufacturer that's the same thing that's that one and one that we just linked so if I just tick these boxes it's a one-to-many relationship we'll click create you can see one manufacturer can be making many assets and I should save that relationship as well all right so that's the simplest way that we've got of um, doing it, it it's the straightforward way of doing relationships is breaking data out into a separate table so we don't have to keep repeating like name and contact details all the way through and now your job is to do that for some other things so you know it's pretty common for model perhaps to be um, uh, actually that's not a good one location would be repeated so perhaps you should do location uh, as a separate table as well and make that work next job. Enjoy.